About a year ago, I talked about the DaVinci 1.0 and considered it a potential candidate as the best starter 3D printer. Well, 2016 was a very busy year for 3D printing, and I'm now back with what I think is definitely one of the best starter 3D printers available on the market today, the Mono Price Select Mini. I am Dana from ModBot, and join me today as we take a look at all the features and my experiences with this 3D printer that make this one amazing printer. The Mono Price Maker Select Mini was released mid-2016, and upon release took a while to build the hype that it now has. Its biggest selling point was that it was a $200 3D printer that came pre-assembled. Not only that, it also featured a hotbed which would allow it to print other filaments other than just PLA. This looked very enticing considering there was not much competition to a printer of that price offering those features. Other than those things, it is a build area of 4.7 by 4.7 by 4.7 inches, which is not huge compared to my other machines having 8 by 8 by 8, but still not too small. To be fair, 90% of what I print falls within these perimeters. The machine has a Bowden style extruder featuring an all metal hot end with a 0.4 nozzle print diameter. The machine also has a micro SD card slot for untethered printing, but it can also be hooked up via USB. There is a nice LCD screen that is very simple and easy to navigate, which will allow you to do things like preheat, print, and home or move the axes. It does have Wi-Fi, but it is limited to 2.4 GHz networks and will require either an Android phone or the use of Malian Link on Windows. I will more than likely be using a Raspberry Pi with Octoprint for simplicity and features, but it is still a nice inclusion. I've had one of these printers on my radar for quite some time and recently decided to pull the trigger as I wanted another printer that I could count on to consistently print well. So I placed the order at about 4am, which is typically the time range I make all of my spontaneous purchases, and due to me living so close to Mono Price, I was able to pick the printer up myself by noon the same day. Rushing home, I opened this printer up and plugged everything in. I used the menu on the LCD to home all the axes and the supplied Allen key to make sure the bed was leveled. It was pretty close right out of the box, but I did raise a bit of hair just to get better first layer adhesion. Shortly after I plugged in the micro SD card included and printed the cat file that was on the card. It was a slow print at about 3 hours. I believe that the file was sliced at a 0.1 layer height but the cat turned out amazing. That first print blew my mind because I knew that the quality this machine was capable of for $200 was as good if not better than my more expensive machines that I have even modded to upgrade. I used the masking tape that was on the bed for a few prints until it tore and have since been using hairspray directly on the aluminum build plate. This printer prints very well and over the past week it has been printing almost non-stop without fail. But the bed has not needed any re-leveling. One fantastic thing about this printer is the support from the community. There is both a subreddit as well as a Facebook page with 4,000 members all of whom own this machine and are there to help and give advice or tips to perfect your prints. This is a priceless tool for anyone looking to get into 3D printing. One downside I can say about this printer is its print speed. It maxes at 50 millimeters a second, but I really don't recommend taking it above 40 to 45. I did not get this machine to be a speed demon, so that really was not a huge deal to me. Also, this machine uses closed source firmware, meaning you will not be tweaking everything you would like, like with Marlin or Repetier. Again, for me, I did not want to even do that. I just wanted a printer that would print well with the supplied firmware. The only other minor thing is that there is vibration on the x-axis from a loose z-rod in the machine um, which makes it a little noisy but it is very easy to fix with basically a printable bracket. I strongly recommend this printer to anyone looking to either get into 3D printing or even for someone who already owns a couple machines such as myself. For $200 this machine will blow your mind and there are some pretty cool mods and upgrades that can be done to the extruder and the bed that I will cover in a later video. To find out more about this 3D printer or purchase one for yourself, I will leave a link below as well as to the subreddit and Facebook group. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to stay up to date with other 3D printer videos and projects I am currently working on. As always, thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. This has been Daniel from ModBot and I am out. Peace guys.